All right, Titanfall 2, uh, single player campaign. We're going to shoot some ba bad guys, or we're going to be some bad guys while we shoot ro at robots, or giant anim anime something. I don't know. Whatever. Gundams, mech warriors, other such hashtags and keywords. Let's do it. the things I've seen on the battlefields of the frontier. I know this the guy. Is the true dominant force. Oh Fast shit, a grenade! Agile. Graceful, yet devastating. Perceptive, resourceful, and relentless. A pilot sees the world differently. Yeah, like in red. Sheer walls become flanking routes. Pilots fight differently. Experienced in deception and maneuver, even overwhelming odds shift in their favor. I love, I love cinematics like this because it's like you'll never quite be this cool in the game. Like, but what truly you'll be cool, but you'll never be quite this cool. All the runs and machines of the battlefield. The bond between a pilot and a titan. I wonder if titan pilot marriage is legal in this universe. Sometimes as a titan, you know, you just want to like legally be in, or as a pilot, you just want to legally be inside your titan. When linked to a titan, a pilot can only be stopped by overwhelming force. Or an equal. The frontier has been the only home. Fuck I've guns. Ever known. Oh, that's cool. Agricultural For titans. Years, our lands have been destroyed by the IMC, forcefully taking our resources, polluting. Ah, oh, not the IMC. I hate those people, guys. And killing us off if we try to resist. Despite recent victories at Demeter and beyond. We have a long way to go before the IMC is defeated. Now, I serve as a rifleman in the militia, fighting to free the frontier. I'm a long way from becoming a pilot. That's what I want on my tombstone when I die. I wanted to say he was but as cool as a cinematic. I hope I can live up to the honor. <laughs> Giant robot punching. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Cooper's Logbook. The 9th Militia Fleet is en route to attack an IMC-controlled planet called Typhon. Zero civilian presence. I only know that it houses an IMC military research facility. Aboard the James McAllen. It's named after the Scotch. The James McAllen. My pilot training continues with Captain Lastimosa. And you know what they say, if you're not first Mimosa, you're Lastimosa. Oh, Captain Mimosa? Delicious. A master level pilot. I'm not sure why he chose to be my mentor, but this is an opportunity I'd be crazy to pass up. Welcome back. Jay. I hope this isn't my last demosa. Pilot last emoji. Here we go, Rifleman Cooper. Oh hell. Shit must have power cycled the sim pod. Oh, not the sim pod. You never power cycle the sim pod. What's up, Scout? Welcome to the squad. Alright, so as we're calibrating, because, you know, you have to look around. You have to look around for calibration. Look at the lights. Does that feel right to you, Cooper? Yes. They're lights. The controls are fine. Don't right. dare invert my shit. Let's see how much you remember from last time. Setting the neural link. Not quite the same as a Titan link, but it's similar. Oh yeah, we're getting drift compatible. <laughs> we need to be in the right state of mind. There are two lights. Ah, Ooh. Much better. Hanamura. Technically, I'm not supposed to be training you, but in you I see potential. Besides, we're at war. Who's got time for classes, eh? There's something wrong with the gravity in Here this you place. Go. Up and over. Eh. Eh. I can't. Eh. I can't do it. I can't do it, Captain. Eh. I'm gonna be the greatest soldier this war has ever seen. I can't. 
Let me just... Hold on, let me get a running start at it. I can do this. All right. Okay, here we go. Okay, I gotta, imp I gotta impress the captain. All right, captain. <laughs> I got it! <laughs> oh! Um... Just... Okay, captain. Just look look the other way. I can't I can't do it while you're watching. Okay. All right. Let's do it again. Let's try, try this again. Okay. <laughs> Come on! Oh. I'm sorry, Captain. I guess I'll just... Blurk! Okay, I did it! Yeah! Okay, I need my asthma inhaler. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Captain! I just need a minute. Okay. Alright, where... Captain? Captain, where did you go? I'm scared. Captain! Okay. Oh, he was so impressed he disintegrated. <laughs> Alright. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna run. We're gonna run. Here we go. <laughs> I I'm doing it, Captain! Uh, no, no, no? Okay, um, where, ca where did you go? <gasps> oh, there he is. Alright, no, it's fine. It's fine. Look, it's psychosomatic asthma. Okay. Hey, ca oh, come back, Captain. Oh, it's a metaphor, you see. Uh, it's a metaphor for um, how I'm trying to chase down my father who abandoned me. Uh, this guy's my—he's a father figure, and the fact that I can never catch him, he just keeps disappearing. It—it's about my past. That's—I understand. This game's got some deep, like, poetic shit Beautiful, going on. Isn't it? This is actually really fucking cool. It's inspired by my home planet of Minecraft. Come back, Dad. I mean, Captain. A world that's not metal and smoke. It's like freedom to live in peace and prosperity. Flying ancient Greece, I guess. Let's make sure your jump kit is primed. Basic wall run here. All right, here we go. Basic wallaby. Oh yeah. Now you're moving. I'm like. I'm all over that shit. Oh, I bet he's gonna ask me to check it out. Dad, are you proud of me, Dad? Yeah. Come back, Dad. <laughs> Dad, wait. Taking over a quarter of frontier space since the Battle of Demeter. Dad, I love you. Militia's better organized. Are you proud of me? More people join every day to fight the IMC. People like you. Okay, bye. You just run and hide from them. But now. I get it. Like he's telling me about the the like powerful war background, etc. <laughs> that feeling where you call your teacher dad or mom by accident. <laughs> Come back, dad. No. <laughs> God damn it. Combat. Things never go as you expect. You must be ready to use any weapon you can find on the field. We need guns. These are Lots just a of few guns. Of where's my where's my where's my bay? There. I don't want. I want this shit. Where is it? Where's the Oh, I wanted the other one. Fine, I guess I'll take the R two hundred one. There's a there's a there's an assault rifle like a burst fire assault rifle that I really like the hemlock. All right, let's go find Gun Dad. Hey, wait, can I have the giant sword? I want the Xeno Xeno Gears sword. I want the what is it called the the Minato? The Minuto? Where's Dunban? Oh, Captain Lacrimosa. I'm gonna shoot so good, Dad, you're gonna be so proud of me. See? I did it. Huh? Huh? Are you proud of me yet? Watch this one. Boom! Boom! Ba! See? Oh! See, I can do it. Any, any gun you want, Dad. Someday. Someday he'll love me. Kablow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I do some more? Alright. I'm good. Where do I go now? Where's... Where, where do you go? Can I jump off here? No. Oh, I can't. Alright. See you later, teleport dad. This is like... I think... Hard time is two minutes. Gotta do better than that to continue. I can't tell, All so I can, just we'll shush for a second, path. Dad. I'm trying to talk to my friends. Um, <laughs> I can't tell if we're in like a, a high tech training facility or like a really fancy dentist's office, you know, or like a plastic surgery clinic. 
Like, I definitely expect there to be more Muzak. Welcome to the new you. Become anyone you want to be. All right, I got two minutes on my speed run, or and my dad, my Captain Lassimosa dad will love me. Here we go. Violets have to strike a balance in combat. Speed is paramount, but you must also hit your targets. Don't tell me what to do, Dad. The gauntlet is what you practice, not skill. Until the second nature. Oh yeah, Hemlock. This is a gun I like. Ow. Ow. Yes. Remember. I'm doing the running and the gunning. Give it a try. Run, run, you fool. I missed a guy. Did I do good? Nice run. See the results board on the wall? You said a new best time. Everyone has different strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, new best time when the original sure time was zero. Times with different weapons. Look at the results board for more tips on how to improve. Now that you're warmed up, if you want a real challenge, you can race against other pilot ghosts. If you do, if you do it in a minute or less, he'll come back from the corner store with some cigarettes. You can be on your way to being a real pilot. Captain Lassimosa, mom's new boyfriend's a real jerk. Well, you you gotta come back to me and save me from this guy. He's a real asshole. I don't want to be friends with Uncle Todd. Alright, let's try this fucking shit again. I'm already slower than my last time. Like, I'm just like slowly crawling through this thing now. Eh. Alright, how do we get out of here? I guess I gotta finish it now. <laughs> yeah. No, come back, me. Now I'm chasing myself. I guess it just goes to show the only person you can't unrun outrun is yourself. I don't know what the like high speed kill thing is that I didn't get before. I mean at least I got the other guy this time. Oh shit, oh fucking shit! Ah Yes! Yeah dad, see I'm better than I was. Love me! Oh, I did. I got a high-speed kill this time. Awesome. Okay, uh, I'm ready to see what's next. I'm ready to see what's next. Good. You're gonna like this. It's time you learn the other half of being a pilot. It's time you learn how to be a grown-up man. Let's go call one in. <gasps> oh my god, it's about time, it's about Dad. Time. I'm ready. That's the spirit. He's gonna get me a puppy. First, we're gonna need a little more space. Oh, this is gonna be a cool thing. Here go the walls. Wham. Oh, we just teleported. That's boring. That's my Can I keep him? He's a Vanguard class. Ah, so excited! Ah. First Titan chassis we designed ourselves. One we did have. <laughs> He's gonna be my very best friend. So we're here, rifleman. Go on your fist. No, I want him. What? Eh. Look up to the sky. There he is. Look up to the sky and see. I'm just a poor right, boy. Right, oh. Sounds like it's about to hit the fan. I'm pulling you out. Powering down all known essential systems. Cooper, ready up. But I was gonna. Oh. Easy, Cole. You just left VR. He needs a minute to decompress. He'll be ready to go. Trust me. Australia, yes, Dad. No, I want. I want to get in the space guy. Oh. It's up. They're killing us. I'm trying to anyway. Good session in there. You'll get the hang of it someday. You know that we have like wrenches we'll and stuff in there, but you don't need to use a knife. But not today. No time. <laughs> You're not ready to be a man now. yet. Anderson. You son of a bitch. See you down there. We're gonna see a new planet today. Maybe even die on it. Don't die, Dad. No. Papa! Pops! Pa see Papa! See you down there, Rifleman. 
Good luck. <laughs> yes, Dad. All right. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do it. Recommended difficulty, regular. Yeah, it's important. Operation Broadsword, Planet Typhon, infantry support for SRS classified operation, IMC occupied frontier space. Okay, we're gonna make we're gonna make Papa proud. Ah, I see. So this is where we like it's like all right, you did the tutorial, cool. You've been introduced to your dad, but none of that stuff's really relevant. Can we take a can we take an informal vote? Uh, audience members, what do we think of Titanfall's, like, grainy video thing? Um, I alternate between thinking it's, like, kind of a cool choice and hating it. But I think it's my, I think it's my internal, uh, photographer that hates it. Also, that was fucking cool. That was a very cool title sequence. Nice work, game. Way to be cinematic. No, not my spaceship. Well, if we don't have the McAllen, we'll always have the Lefroig to defend us. Oh, God. <laughs> Jack Cooper. Ugh, no, fentanyl's bad for you. Traumatic. Dramatic addiction problems. Oh, that's cool. Chaotic sounds of battle. Oh, look at that. That is some excellent Starship Troopers style, like, fucking space chaos. Look. Oh, man. That's gorgeous. I'm sorry, I'm really distracted from the troops. Wow. Okay. Let's, yeah, everything's blue and orange. Teal, teal, and uh, there's like actually a name for that particular orange. It's like a very like cinem it's an intentional cinematic choice to use those. Guys. I'm gonna make you proud, Dad. Yeah, war is hell. Great way to start a campaign, though. Like. You're in the middle of a battle that your team is losing. What do you do? Oh, it's because I walked in that fire. <laughs> yeah, of course. Ow! Wow, that tone is losing it. Super, you're in bad shape. Hold on. Dad. This might knock you out, but you should be okay when you wake up. I fell Last down, Dad. Are hostile Titans inbound. Apex Predators. Copy that, BT. Mercenaries. Stay down. So, are the Titans like BT, VI or AI? Like, do they. Are they actually intelligent? Or are they just meant to seem intelligent? Oh, uh, look at. Uh, Dad, you're. No! Papa! Oh, I hate you, Uncle Todd. They're supposed to be like legit actual AI. Okay. So are they given a choice whether they want to fight or not? Or did we just make them to fight and we're like, you're war slaves? Also, look at that obvious villain. <laughs> like, cartoonish super villain. Look at him. We have 18 hours. 18 hours until the Ark is sealed and ready for delivery. 
That guy's Uncle Todd for sure. That's mom's new boyfriend. Corpses alone, you sick bastard. We've got a job to do, eh? We make corpses, we don't clean them up. Let's go. Right, amber and amber and teal. Yeah, it's a specific kind. <laughs> Stupid Uncle Todd. Oh, local wildlife. Hi. It's a zergling. It's like your smaller type of zerg. Also, can we talk about for a second? And, and this game, uh, this game takes uh, an immediate cue from uh, from from some other sci-fi that I'm actually a fan of, in terms of uh, like uh, villain accents. So we can we can we can blame. Well, I don't know if blame is the right word. We can uh, credit or attribute this this trend in sci-fi to Neil Blomkamp, who's like the dude who who invented this. But using uh, white South Africans as villains in sci-fi. And using um, like what it's Johannesburg as like a setting and and like that, it's it's very much like his thing. And I think Titanfall came out close enough to District to Nine simple. that that's where that came from, right? The District Nine came out, and then the people making Titanfall watched it and were like, interesting. And then Elysium, obviously, same guy, the bad guy again with the accent, and like that's that's kind of become like a a, a niche. It's like a thing. Um, yeah, it's Blom this game is Blomp Camp as fuck. And then, yeah, Chappie obviously came out between Titanfall and Titanfall 2, very thematically similar. Um, yeah, and as, as someone, what made me think of this, someone in chat pointed out that, like, South African accents are kind of the new German, like, for sci-fi. Because it's not an accent most people have heard, except in sci-fi, or I guess if you live in South Africa. Papa, who hold E to help Dad? BT transfer authorization. To no. Pilot. Link. Bra <coughs> Bravo. No. Seven, two, Dad. Oh. Trooper, take my Titan. Use my helmet in my jump kit. Take your father's sword. Take care of him. Defeat space apartheid. Glorp. <laughs> oh, dad. <laughs> Updated my logbook. I made you a rock grave, dad. <laughs> <laughs> you said the mimosas were endless. I wanted endless mimosas. Well, whatever. Now I have got my father's helmet. New user found. You'll never live up to your father's expectations of you. Oh, I was born in, what, 2087, I guess, probably? 2187? Initializing pilot combat systems. Personal cloak. Cool. Cloak, okay. Ordinance. Okay. It's a beautiful game. Really looks good. Firearms. Okay, like it looks... God, it's it's so interesting that this and Battlefield came out so close to one another because they're so similar and so different and they're both published by the same people, which is like... Yeah. It's not viable. A bunch of unviable shit. Oh, looking for power sources. Oh, I see, because a big, big, big chumbo here needs to... needs to get his... Uh, Let's get his power on. All right, let's go get that source. Here we go. Let's go explore this beautiful war-torn terrain. Fuck you! Fuck you, Zergling! Oh, yeah. I know. I already did the tutorial. Why are you reteaching me how to wall run? I don't need you anymore. My dad's dead. I'm a grown-up now. Shit, jump kit status. Double jump offline. Oh shit. Fuck you. Yeah. Hey, hey. all right. This is Captain Cole of the 3rd Militia Grenadier, Danny Militia Survivor. We 
Oh, I got that hover helmet. I'll try this flatline. It's like a cool gun. Okay, Cole is out. Good to know. Also, yeah, why was that helmet just floating there? I do really like, um, so here's here's a thing that makes me feel, and this game is doing it already, that makes me feel like um, war stories are interesting. They have to have shit going on around you. Um, I find that some of the Call of Duty games have had this problem where it's like nothing is occurring. You're just like in a place shooting bad guys. For me to really feel like I'm, I'm in a war, there has to be all kinds of shit going on. And I think that the... Like, as a cinematic example of this, maybe the ultimate cinematic example in my mind is that opening scene, the beach scene uh, in Saving Private Ryan, right? Where it's just like everything around you is, is like happening and it's loud and it's, it's, it's chaos and you're trying to accomplish something in the midst of all that madness. Um, and I, I think this game is doing a pretty good job of it, right? Where they're like, yeah, you're, you're part of this conflict, but like, look at all this other shit going on. There's a crashed spaceship. There's like bombs going off. You're not gonna just be able to ignore, uh, you know, the the rest of the world, which is pretty fucking cool. Oh God, Ugh. yeah. I'm not really into this like second tutorial though. Like, what I we did this already. Why are you? Oh, whatever. Like, it's pretty enough that I can I can ignore the fact that it's being a little stupid. To get. All right. So there's like some bad dudes around. Yeah, that is a good follow-up question. So Sith Masters, how do you do that in a role-playing game at the table? Um, I mean, the Powered by the Apocalypse engine does this, where it's like you player roles can uh, narratively affect things that are happening indirectly around the the players, right? Where you can be like, oh, you failed a role, so something else nearby, like chaos, is happening. You know, you can, you can write, like, in the Apocalypse Engine, for example, you can write moves. You can write moves that, that do this. Uh, you can create uh, your agenda as a, as a GM. Wow, these guys have no fucking deal. I punch really hard. Um, you know, it's much harder to do in D&D. &D. Uh, it's much harder to do in a game that expects granular... Uh... Fuck you, fuck you. Drone. Uh, that expects granular resolution of things. Uh, much, much harder. Yeah, as my boy. Um, but it's still, I guess, possible. <laughs> I just want to punch people now. That was awesome. Hey, fucker. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God. Why do I even need a gun? Why did they not mention how intensely hard I could punch? Yeah, you're wrecked. You're wrecked. But I think if you're doing like a war story, that's that's like hugely important. That like unless you're going on like a Navy SEALs like spec ops kind of mission, um you know, you want to have the chaos of war. You want to have the, the theater of combat be uh, big and, and bombastic. And, like, uh, you know, because it, it'll create a sense that the characters uh, are a small part of a much larger conflict. And I think that's really important in creating a, a narrative of war. Because war is big, right? War isn't small. Welcome back, AB Gaming Real. Thank you for your resubscription. Okay. Uh, oh god, a grenade! Hi, I punched real hard. I feel like I could probably be doing this more stealthily. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. Alright, we got DMR. 
Oh yeah, here we go. Cool. Semi-auto sniper. Where are, the, where are the bad guys? Or whatever, the enemy. Enemy nerds. It'd be really great if the suit could finish its final calibrations already. There we go. There we go, double jump is online, just in time, too. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Are those my guys, or no? Those are bad guys. Toast. That was easy. Let's see what they were fighting. Ah, oh, just some lizard creatures. Science fiction monsters. Yep. Excuse me. Rude. Yeah, you need guns to startle them and surprise them long enough that you can charge up and punch them. Exactly. I need some fucking diazepam. Alright, so there's Chappie. The Spectres. Ooh, hold E to hack a Spectre. Hold E to download a car. Haha, <laughs> awesome. I guess we could probably sneak out. Still kind of getting a feel for the cloak. I never use it in multiplayer, so. So it's still pretty, like, foreign to me as a ability. I must remind you that you are on the planet Titan. Ghost Runner? Oh, it just shows me the path. That's weird. I guess what the game wants is for you to um, move through the space as quickly as possible, rather than like Assassin's Creed, like finding finding the route, right? Like, because normally in a game that's part of the that's part of the deal is like you have to figure out how to uh, how to get from one place to the other, but apparently not here. I guess. Not laser me? I don't think so. I guess you could just turn it off or ignore it if that's the like kind of challenge. Cool, nice change in environment. We've been pulled into uh, the broken spaceship. The James Callan has been sent to take down IMG research facility on the planet. Here we go. Oh, that's cool. That's the same animation as when you pull it out of uh, an enemy titan, too. So it's teaching you, uh, I guess, things that you'll use uh, as a as an attack later. I can only assume because you do in the multiplayer. Oh. Uh... Yeah. So the two sides in this are what, like the. Kind of like uh, alliance and the, the the like rebels, basically the kind of like, I mean that's that's how most because of like Star Wars predominantly, but because of a lot of a lot of sci-fi is like that. It's like the the kind of government versus the the like settlers or the people uh, of the of the frontier. Um, so it seems like that's kind of the it's kind of the jam for this game too, which is cool. I can get behind that. It's archetypal. I like archetypes. Vanguard class Titan. Yeah, let's check these guys up. No bloody way. It's worth listening. Got a visual! It's a pilot! 
Why do I? I don't even. I'm just gonna punch everybody. Insufficient power. Hey, British Telecom. Do you wanna? You want some some power upgrades here? The protagonist erotically inserted the battery into the robot. He groaned in delight. Data core reinitialized. Ocular system online. Hi. Adjusting focus. Are yeah, you buddy. all right, pilot? Yeah, I'm good. I think so. Wait, did you just call me pilot? Yes. The late Captain Lastimosa gave you the provisional rank of acting pilot. Congratulations on your promotion. You may call me BT. BT. Got it. My systems are rebooting, but a third battery will accelerate the process. I will remain here. Fucking needy. To the map squad. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Thank you for your subscription. Until I am mobile, I yeah, will assist yeah, you yeah. your radio God. possible. I'm glad that my phone isn't like this. Charge me. Charge me. Come on, I'm going to kind of halfway work. It'd be annoying until you charge me. So, um... We've talked about this in pretty much every game that we've uh, we've played so far. Check it out. Color to indicate pathing, right? Just keep an eye out for that. I think this game. I think this game's color is going to be like orange. Right? Huh? Where do I go? Don't worry, BT. I'm not going anywhere. Understood. But I do recommend you move. IMC salvage teams are not far away. Can I make it? Oh God! Yeah. I'm moving, I'm moving. Be careful, pilot. Huh. Alright, uh... uh nope. <laughs> oh, I fell down. Alright. Oh, we got our checkpoint now. Oh, no ghost runner. See, yeah, like... Normally, I would have to... Oh, yeah, I, I was doing the right thing. I just jumped too early. Ugh. Yeah, normally, I would have to... Uh, I would have to figure that shit out myself. Um, but, yeah, it's it's interesting that that's... Kind of how the game has, has decided to, uh, to do that, right? Ooh, here's a thing to keep an eye out for. I haven't done it so far, but we should. Let's all do it together as a group. Um, keep keep your ears open for people referring to. Oh, keep an eye out for uh, people referring to uh, uh, the Titans by gendered uh, pronouns, and see if it happens. See if the Titans are referred to as they or it or he or she. Pilot. My mapping systems have been restored. So, thank the you for the resub, the Delta Echo. The fleet has landed us far off course from our original destination. We are located in hostile territory. Be careful, we cannot stay here long. Okay. You think we can survive through this, BT? We have no other options. We will have to improvise yeah. and adapt if we wish to survive. Yeah, see the walls are kind of yellow, so you can tell that you're supposed to wall jump them? Oh god, I'm dead. How long did you... <laughs> that was a terrible, so terrible run for me. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> That's longer than any relationship I've had. Noted. <laughs> Noted. We know there are militia survivors out there. Find you when we Fuck you. Fire. Shut up, propaganda robot. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, they're going to refer probably to the robots with male-sounding voices as he. Um, that's, that's a thing. Whoa. Whoa. Um. But I mean, I think that's that's the thing about, about artificial intelligence. And again, this is why I bring it up, is that... Uh, when we, when we get to the point where we're, wow, I just punched his entire helmet off. When we get to the point where we're creating intelligence wholesale from, from nothing, just with our, with our science, we're going to gender that intelligence according to the social norms of the culture that invented them, right? So like, 
we're gonna impart our normative gender st structures onto uh, onto these these robots when we make them. Um, and I think that's I think it's fascinating and and like you know uh, important to think about because we do it with children already, right? Like in a lot of ways, the way that we're gonna the way that we're gonna handle AI will be the same as the way that we handle human created intelligence, which is to say babies, in that we teach them the things that are normal for us. Hi. Terrible cover. Just terrible. Uh, rather than uh, letting them decide their own, uh, their own gender expression. Um, it's weird because we'll be assigning, we'll be assigning gender to uh, non-biological entities uh, essentially at birth. It's, yeah, it's funny with pets. Like with pets, often the um, because animals don't have animals don't have gender. There's no such thing as a, a gendered animal. But we assign them genders anyway, based I mean on their sex, like we do with people. But also we base it on um, like our perception of them. Like often, uh, people will uh, gender cats female if they don't know. They'll they'll gender them as women. They'll use uh, female pronouns for cats. Also, different languages uh, gender things based on. Uh, they're, they're like noun gendering, um, cause, you know, a lot of languages, hey, that's cool, uh, a lot of languages have, uh, like gendered nouns to begin with that are just built into the, the structure. Yeah, fascinating stuff, totally interesting. I mean, yes, humans are animals, but not, they're, n that's not what I mean, and you know that. <laughs> yeah, Alex, try to use semantics on me. Um, this rocket launcher is maybe not the best for this. Oh, that's good looking smoke. I am a little annoyed that I can't use the rocket launcher and um, some kind of machine gun at the same time. But what are you gonna do? Oh, I, that, I could have held on to that. I guess it's just not actually a thing. Oh, you can replace the pistol? Okay, I'll do that. That's a good call. I'll take this sniper guy. Oh, I gotta start back here. Huh? And then we'll switch the pistol for the rocket launcher. Oh, okay. I thought I only had like a pistol slot and a, like a long arm slot or whatever, but... Good to know. To assume I'm some kind of cybernetically enhanced super soldier to be able to punch that hard. Maybe my suit has like punching servos. Also, check it out level design. Level design in action. Huh? Yeah. BT, who is this voice? This is the commander of the Marauder Corps, a section of the Militia Special Recon Squadron, or SRS. Her name is Sarah Briggs. Rough. BT, is there anyone alive on this ship? No. Scans do not detect any life signs within the MCS James McAllen. But 90% of the lifeboats have been ejected. There is still hope. So the scope, is the scope actually showing what's in front of me or behind me or whatever? No, it's just showing like a generic, like, you're in this environment view. Which is okay, I mean, you know, mirrors take rendering power and all that. Unit. 
just hide in this little crevasse. So much teal and blue. Or so much teal and, uh, and amber, rather. It's a nice color, but... Yeah. One thing that I think is, uh, tr I guess, tricky or, or important to think about when writing, or I guess if you're GMing, like an artificial intelligence, how robotic do you want to make it, right? Like. Think about the, the protocols that the people who engineered the thing would have given it to speak, right? This is the like data, like how data can't, um, like data from Star Trek, not data the thing. Data from, from Star Trek can't use contractions and that sets him apart verbally from humans. Think about the difference between affirmative and negative and yes and no, right? Think about the way that either the, the thing would have been programmed to speak or the kind of inflection and speech that it would pick up from being around humans. Consider also the language of the people who programmed it and how that might affect the way that it speaks too, right? Because we, we give these things, again, as with children, we give these things the, the, uh, the, the intellectual structures that we have and then they develop on their own uh, over time. Let's see if we can get over to that thing. Oh, yeah, get that helmet. It would be we'll in hover your best interest to turn yourselves in. It would be in your best interest to suck it. Oh no, am I out of rifle bullets? <laughs> oh no. Oh, this isn't going to be good. I'm going to have to rely on stealth and punching. It's a good thing punching is my greatest asset. Punching in my desperate love for my father who abandoned me. Pilot, our location has been compromised. Yeah, dude, it's cool. Ow. Hi. Shit, I gotta secure the area for the rocket launcher. Jeez, this might not go so well for me. Hi, uh, I need your guns. Can I, can you drop your gun, please? There we go, thank you. Pick it up. What the fuck? <laughs> uh. Robots. Those drones are IMC scouts. Enemy reinforcements will be on their way. I guess I also had grenades, but whatever. Punching is the best. Please install the final battery. Are you ready? Yeah. Power on, robot. Power at full capacity. We must establish a neural link in order to I don't to think I'm ready to establish a neural link with you. We just met. Please embark when ready. I want you inside me, pilot. Okay. Uh, Alright. Alright. I've never done this before. I mean, not in real life. I've done it by myself a bunch of times. You know, on the, on the internet. One. Link to pilot. Establishing neural link. Neural link established. Rifleman Jack Cooper, you are now confirmed as acting pilot of BT-7274. Protocol 2, uphold the mission. Our orders are to resume Special Operation 217. Rendezvous with Major Anderson of the SRS. Okay. Detecting incoming enemy forces. Protocol 3, protect the pilot. Reinitializing critical systems. Protocol 4. Vortex Wreck these online. fools. The Vortex Shield catches incoming rounds and missiles. Release the button to launch any captured objects back at the enemy. <laughs> it's the uh, Neo Protocol. Can I do anything else? Move? Shoot a gun? Pilot, the Acolyte Pod is online. This shoulder-mounted rocket pod will lock onto multiple enemy targets. The longer you hold down the button, the more locks you will achieve. So this is like a single-player only robot, right? Like Titan, sorry. Yeah, you gotta stay on brand. I will I will say this, like the game, it's, 
it's a little annoying how like teachy the beginning of this is. Primary weapon control and motion link reestablished. Like we're gonna slowly, we're gonna slowly re, uh, like reestablish each system one at a time, so you learn them all, and then we're gonna let you play the game. Enemy Titanfall detected. We will have to fight our way to safety. Get okay. ready. Yeah, that's a good point, Stixie. It's like the. Uh... Great. Just gotta kill a few bad guys. A positive attitude can only improve our situation. Uh, the the uh, the mission is more important than the pilot because uh, the protocols ostensibly are in order. Taking fire. Not bad, finally. Not bad. Are you, are you talking to me? I'm trying to fight you. Don't talk to me. So that's that's a good question, right? Like, um, Exoscout brings up the the Tichi part feels especially feels especially annoying because it's not that different. BT, I'm trying to talk. Until then, you and I are on our own, marking your HUD. Okay, man, I know. Uh, it's especially annoying because. Okay, just shut up for a second. Uh, because um, uh, Titanfall One is so similar, but I wonder about that. Like, at what point um. Does a sequel become uh, allowed to not lean on the, the the previous game? Like when you're making a game, how much do you expect someone knows coming into your game from the original, right? From the from the first game. Um, you know, are you like Deus Ex, where you make a 15 minute video to explain all that stuff, or is it more like um, you know you you introduce just the gameplay stuff, but you leave the story stuff aside? I mean, I guess it depends on the game, right? Um, in order to survive, we must keep moving. I'm aware. Stop talking for a second. Um, yeah, I mean, like it's it's never about not doing it at all, but it's about like how much that you uh, how much you want to do, right? 